five-year survival rate is much uh, greater for cancers that are detected early. Um, and once they're detected early, then we can stop its spread. But once they start spreading or metastasizing, then it becomes much harder to contain it. Um, you don't really know where it's going to spread. You can think of cells as like a chemical factory. When they are dividing normally, um, they produce a normal level of chemicals to support their growth. But they're cancerous, uh, they start dividing really rapidly. And because there's such a great level of growth um, in these cells, they need to produce an increased amount of chemicals to support um, their growth. Certain chemicals are called biomarkers. In order to detect these biomarkers, we have um, these, we prepare these nanoparticles. These nanoparticles are iron oxide uh, nanoparticles. They have a core of iron oxide. And nanoparticles, they're really tiny. They're about 100 nanometers in diameter. Um, it's less than the width of a hair. And so they're special because they're bound with DNA. And this DNA binds complementarily to our specific biomarker, which is a molecule of mRNA. Um, so when the nanoparticles enter the cell, they bind complementarily to this biomarker and they release a fluorescent signal. And um, in normal cells, there is a small amount of this biomarker, so we shouldn't see much of a signal. Um, but in cancer cells, we see a much greater signal. Generally with cancer detection uh, and broadly like cancer therapeutics, you want something that's quick and has minimal uh, side effects. And this has definitely proven to be quicker than most detection um, uh, techniques that are currently in the literature and currently used in research. So we're very optimistic about that. It's also has very little side effects because we can control which cells the particles enter. So they don't just, they're not just applied to an entire tissue. Um, and they're also cleared from circulation pretty easily. I actually started here as an undergraduate and I decided to stay for my graduate degree um, because as an undergraduate, I was working with Dr. Katz, my current professor, and I had a really good experience in his lab. Um, he's always been very supportive and very, um, a very good mentor. I want to say that the project by itself is extremely important. It has a lot of scientific novelty and practical applicability for future medical applications. But in addition to scientific novelty and importance, I would say that I'm particularly happy to have excellent students, probably the best in the department. And uh, the scientific novelty is actually combined with uh, educational process. So it's particularly important students to be involved in this study. And they are improving their scientific skills, which is particularly uh, important for future scientific career. So I'm happy to have excellent students in the group. Clarkson has really been uh, a great, not, not just like a good resource, and, or, but it has like a really supportive atmosphere um, that's very helpful for collaborative research.